What's up, guys? It's me, Ben. Ben. Tinkerbell. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. What am I to my channel? Oh, boy. I just got Ben Ben. I don't just see me. Today. So, uh, Savannah. So, what does Tinkerbell do a lot down here? Um, uh, let's see. Daddy has his Daddy has his record room, right? Yes. Where he he plays all his records. Yes. Look at all the records here, guys. This is However, Tinkerbell seems to like to hop on the shelves over here and knock the shelves down, so the. Walls well, starting to look like kind of like Swiss cheese, right, Savannah? Where? Look at all the holes in the wall, right? Mm -hmm. Do you see them all? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There, there's a lot of holes because Tinkerbell keeps jumping on the shelves and knocking the shelves. Off. So we're going to try something different now. And I'm going to show you What's what we're going to do. For? So we're going to move the, the. Those are first the shelf, holding the shelves. So we're gonna try something different, guys. Move these. We're gonna show you what we're gonna do. Look. Well, the first step is we have to move all these records, all these 45s first, right, Savannah? Yes, that will help. I'll be the one from these ones. Yeah. Okay, so guys, we're gonna move these. We're gonna move all these. See all the holes that from all the shelves. How many times I've had to put them back up because of Katie? Keep the belt. Yep. Tinkerbell keeps jumping up there, and well, Sam it has too, but Tinkerbell really is. Sometimes. So we're we're still gonna move them. One one bracket fell off while taking off. So our next step is we're gonna take off all these bra brackets I put up a month or so ago. So we have everything off right now. As you see, it just looks like Swiss cheese over here. But I do have these pegboard, this pegboard that came from the house that I'm going to try and put in here, and I think it'll work. We're gonna see. Wait, okay, guys. So the first step is you kind of want to know what your layout is going to be. So I already measured out. I went measure from here to the ceiling, and I know how I'm going to put my. I'm going to put this stuff. I know how I'm going to put it right here. So the first step is you definitely want to make sure you measure and know how you're going to do it. What I'm going to do on this is because it's I got enough. I'm gonna put it like this way, all the way up. This way, another plus is, I know it's gonna be level because it's gonna be with the floor. Um, however, I do have a level down here also that will help me make sure it's level. So I will get that done. I will be making sure. As you see, I have my little level. So when I, before I put it up, and before I measure everything, I'm going to make sure I level it, make sure it's all correct. So I held it up and I just took a pen, marked all the spots where the holes are going to be. So I'm going to drill those spots. And I have a spot back there. I'm just going to drill them out. And that's next up. I know it's probably really hard to tell, but there are holes that are drilled now uh, for our wall anchors. Um, so that is our next step. Our next step is we got all these wall anchors here. We're going to try and put some in here and we're going to put them through the wall. Like, so now I have the anchors through, through the pegboard here. Um, now have to, the next step is we have to feed the anchors through the holes one at a time. And so this gets a little tricky in these when you're holding the trim trick board too. So we have to let you guys go. But pretty much ultimately what you're gonna do is you're gonna pinch these. You're gonna pinch them like this and push them through the hole and they should go in. So as you see, I got them all in. So we're kind of holding up, they're, they're loose, but well, I'm gonna do that. The next step is we have to tighten them in. Tightening them in is fairly easy. You have a drill. Or you, you can even do it by hand. You know, 
again, so they're kind of getting tight. Makes it a little easier. So as you see, it, it, it will pull it up to the wall, which is naturally. However, this one is not where it's going to be, so I'm going to reverse it. And I will put it back in. I kind of put it back in. I had to loosen up a little bit. Before you do anything, make sure you get your level out. Make sure, because this one's kind of tight, it'll hold on to No, But it's the other five that I have to do. But as you see, you want to make sure it's still level before you put anything in because it would suck to have to do this all over again. Um, and I'm going to ultimately, once the first one goes in, and as long as you, it's kind of like getting your base, like most stuff, as long as you get, get your base done correctly, that everything will fall together. And it will, and you can do the rest of all fast. As you see, I now have all, all six screws in. And I make sure it, it is level the whole way. And it is level the whole length. So guess what? The rest of this wall is gonna be a breeze because I'm just gonna follow, follow that this one's level. Because I know it is. So you guys, I got the second one up. I just went on the top of the one below it. However, I did move my my screws in two because I figured what's gonna happen is the anchors will land on each other and that probably won't work so well. Um, so I moved them in. As you see, I did not even man, level this one beforehand. But as you see, I went off the I went off the one below it. And since it was level, this one's level. So that's why you make sure you have a strong base. So by the time I get all the way to the top, it will all be 100% level. And by the way, when you're doing the metal ones, you don't want these screws in too tight because otherwise you're going to bend the you're going to bend the things inwards, and that's not good either. So you just want just enough that it's holding on. So as you see, I have them, so they're holding on, and it's going to work. It's going to hopefully work pretty slick for me. As you see, I have a few records here that need to go on. Okay, guys, so I have a wall peg, metal pegboard now. And I'm going to try and put the pegs, the hooks on. And the hooks are fairly simple to put on. If you, I'm hoping most people know, but if you don't, I will show you how to do it. All you have to do is put the hooks just like there and I think that one should probably come uh, there we go that's a little more flat and a little better but yeah so I will do that and I'm gonna organize these records it's taken me about four hours I want to say three hours to get all this done um this pegboard um the bins are down there those records either are in their original sleeves or the records have like a very small hole so they can't fit on pegboard or on these hooks with these hooks um so i have to go on amazon i've already gone on amazon and looked and i'm going to get some baskets for them and i'm probably going to put it on here and this lower part here and i can put you use them use the baskets and put those in the baskets um the drawback to the this way is if I want to saw record way back here, I have to pull them all off. And to be able to get it, if I want that one, I'd pull them all off. Um unlike the bins where I, all I would have to do is pull one bin off and I could look through it and get it, and they were all alphabetical versus most of them are alphabetical and then the other stack is here. But the plus is the cats, the cats cannot climb on it and make a mess out of it anymore. So that's a huge plus. Um, and they look kind of messy this way, but you know what? It is what it is. Hopefully the cats can't do it. You, yeah, it's really hard to train a cat not to climb on records and climb on a shelf. So I hope you guys enjoy this improvement that we did. Um... But yeah, it'll take about a week or two for Amazon, it says, 
on the fastest delivery to get pegboard baskets here. So I'm not going to wait a week to post this video. So hopefully you guys enjoy. Keep up, keep improving in your houses. You know, even if it's even if it's your kid, improve your bedroom, make your bedroom a little bit better the way you want. Make it easier on yourself, right?